Two down. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Carolina's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. The Hurricanes move to the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. Nice zone entry from the left. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Unleashes a cannon! Oh, and that's got the crowd buzzing after that stop. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Maintains possession. Quick shot! Denies him in close. Quick feed to D'Angelo. Taken by Gallagher. Cuts to the paint. Decides to think about it. Oh, puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 3-0 is the score. The Canadians will go to work here in the offensive zone. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. From the slot, wrist shot, and he denied that opportunity. Sharp reaction save. From in close! Whoa. They score! That's four straight! This is contagious! It's contagious, and it is an onslaught. Man, this game is gonna run out of control here pretty shortly. Pretty clear the goaltender's not expecting this shot. That defensive zone turnover results in this quick shot. Beats the goalie low. Montreal's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Dvorak. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. D'Angelo stick handling in his own zone. Montreal's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. The Hurricanes grab possession to the puck. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Moves it to Evans. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. They score! Le Glovia deliver! The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Scored by number 71, The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Kulak. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Montreal's got the puck in the corner. Savard's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot in front. Turns it away. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Detroit's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play. He scores! And that's the hat trick! And here comes the rain! The hats start piling onto the ice. The celebration shows it's just not a normal goal. The hat trick's always special. Just look at this face-off play here on the replay, James. They're set hoping they can win the draw, and when they do, the wheels are in motion that leads to this goal. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Under a minute to go in the third. He was totally locked in on that play. Yeah, it did, James. You can hear that funny sound when the puck hit his mask. It doesn't sound like the post that's on his stick. He shakes it off here, and the play will continue. Takes it to the net. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. Carolina's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Hammers it on net. Scores! The answer right back. That's a heck of a response. You give one up, you want to try and get it back as quickly as possible. Well, things are going from bad to worse. The first goal, he's sitting on the bench in a ball hat. This guy can't stop the shot either. The Canadians could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Puck grab by Weber. Score by number 14. And there's a shot. Big save by the goaltender. Rand is going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Feeds it over to Trocek. And called for the offside. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. They're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Well, punch out some frustration is what happened there. He just been a long night, and they, they just want this over as well. Yeah, this is essentially delaying the inevitable here. The gloves are back on. The buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Suzuki's won the draw here in the open ice. Makes a move in front. Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. He can really give his teammates a boost when he scores, guys. He's got that four-liter superstar ability. And just look how pumped his teammates are for him. Turns it aside. And he totally whiffs on that one. And he's able to handle that one. And this one comes to an end. Savard's hat trick leads the way in the victory, Ray. Got himself in a good position to shoot the puck tonight. He was in front of the net. He was a dangerous player all night long. Great five in the arena, and this place is picking up again as they return to the ice. Uh, what a fun night for everybody involved. They get to cheer their team to victory, and now they are saluted by the players. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Zabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.